Hello, hello, hello. And I think while I am giving you a few moments to come in, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get that mask that I talked about on Monday, but I didn't have, so I'm going to show you this visual. Okay, so of course, you know, we all know that I am going to do my TSA, and uh, I'm going to use one of these masks, or I have two actually, but I'm going to use this just so that you can, um, so that there will be a good contrast between, between the two masks. So then, you know, I always talk about uh, wear your mask. Wear your mask until uh, Thanos is just a memory. Even though Thanos, they're working to make Thanos a everyday part of our life, such as the cold and flu. But we don't have to fall prey to either one, the cold the flu or Thanos and so hopefully by now everybody that comes in this live knows who Thanos is because what I'm trying to do is to keep us from being um, keep from being put in Facebook jail <laughs> and so I will use code names and uh, I will trust that you will be able to um, that you'll be able to figure it out that you'll know because I know you are all wonderfully intelligent people hello good morning Annette thank you for joining good morning Miss Pritchard you are you all are so wonderful thank you all for uh, being in and thank you for liking and sharing I do so much appreciate it Miss Peterson, hey, how are you? And um, uh, every part of my life, whatever. Yeah. Um, they're trying to make it, and that they're what they're working on is making it a part of our lives forever in Canada and in Europe, in the EU. Let me say, I believe it's the EU. Uh, they are they are discussing the fact that, um, how can I say this without getting in trouble and uh, getting caught? <laughs> you know what? That's okay. Uh, I am going to put a link in this uh, live. And uh, I don't know if I'll be able to pull it up while we are just talking or if I'll have to uh, do it after this slide is over. But I'm going to put, put a link to some information pertaining to Thanos that, that's being discussed, uh, that's being discussed and being uh, researched uh, right now in other parts of the world that we have heard 
nothing about, that we know nothing about, and we need to know because it will affect us for uh, generations to come. It will, we will be affected. And so uh, I'm going to put that link. I want you all to look for it, look at it, and then maybe on Monday we can kind of, uh, if you need, have some questions to ask about it, you can ask. But we need to be aware. We need to be aware because we're being, uh, uh, because we need to be delivered from exploitation and experimentation. And that is all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> and you will understand when you when you go to the link. Uh, it is most definitely science. It is most definitely science. But it is science that is being hidden. And so, let me see, go down here. Hello, Jeanette. Hey, it's good to see you, my friend. I'm glad you're here. I am glad you're here. Um, like and share, please. Everyone like and share, please. All right, so we talked about these masks on last week, right? You know, I always, um, this one. Now, the one I have is the black, you know, I have the black um, mask that is, that has the scallops on the side and the insert underneath the neck and the insert that goes here which is the main piece the main piece that goes here and then there is an inlay right at the top of the piece that goes here and uh, that mask uh, so and see i haven't even i, I misplaced my mask sunday and I haven't seen it. Pure mask, capital P U R E, uh, capital M A S K. You want the one that is made in America, <laughs> and that for me it is a it is a surgical mask, which is comparable to the in, um, to the in the other mask that that they are asking us to wear they're both comparable to one another and um and but i'm using this and you all know that this is the one that i tell you don't wear this mask but i'm using it for contrast and the reason i say don't wear this mask is because this mask <laughs> it leaves gaps and openings and um, places of entry everywhere, everywhere. And so then the pure mask, it has the scallops here. They go all the way, they go all the way back. And they hug the face, preventing anything from getting in there. They have the added... Um, insert here that goes all the way back covering the chin back to the neck and then it has of course it has the main part that goes here the scallops here that hug the face and then it has the insert here that uh that protects this area in here preventing anything from entering there like I said, for um, the purpose of your being able to easily see the contrast, I am using this now. And so this, the other mask, is that is necessary that we absolutely need is let's see, this is when you this is when you need to have a little bit of hair instead of gray big old afro sitting up on the head. <laughs> okay, here we go. And you all are familiar 
you're all familiar with this mask. This is what you wear when you go to bed to keep the lights out, to keep the light that's seeping in from your um, from your street, your street lights, uh, your night light. Your somebody has a computer on, so your computer lights, your blue lights, your light from your phone, and all of those. Let me try to take a peek at myself and see how crazy I look. So. <laughs> And so you say, why am I recommending this? If you go back and watch the uh, Facebook Live from Monday, because we talked extensively about why you need this mask. This mask, this mask protects you from Thanos. This is a preventive measure. It prevents the droplets, whether they're small or whether they're bigger, from entering into the airways and uh, go, entering, going down your aerodigestive tracts, entering in, being able to hijack your DNA, uh, being able to uh, break into your cell membrane through that ACE2 receptor, and then hijacking your DNA inserting its own RNA or its own information uh, that tells your cells to reproduce Thanos. And so then this is a preventive measure, your mask. It is a preventive measure that prevents that process from happening. And then this mask, is the one that uh, enables you, your body to, uh, it activates, thank you Holy Spirit, it activates the, um, it activates the initial processes of the healing cycle. So then at uh, 10.30, I've been trying to get into the bed at 10 o'clock. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it, y'all. <laughs> I am I am desperately working on it, so y'all pray for me, because uh, that is my goal. And you, we should have at least seven hours of sleep every night. And during that seven hours of sleep, um, between 11 p.m., well, no, I'm, let me start back at 10.30. Uh, from 10.30 p.m. to... Uh, 2 a.m. is our healing cycle. And so the healing cycle is initiated. It is initiated, the cell-to-cell -cell communication and the release of the um, healing hormone, or some of you all may have heard it as, uh, heard it called the growth hormones. Well, that, that process is begun at 10.30 the uh, healing hormones or growth hormones are released at 10.30, but the activation of that uh, process is dark. It is dark. And so then that means that in the darkness of your room, it activates the healing process. And so then it, it, be, it tells the body that darkness tells the body that uh, it needs to make and, and release the healing hormones so that by 11 p.m., because you are in the bed in the dark, you are in the bed in the dark, the healing hormones have been released at 1030 and the healing begins at 11 p.m., and it ends at 2 p.m., 2 a.m., I'm sorry, at 2 a.m., 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. Now, and that cycle is initiated by darkness, by, and, and, and if there's any light present, that light will um, disrupt, it will disrupt that process. And so, so the purpose of 
This mask is to prevent entry of Thanos. The purpose of this mask is to make sure that your body goes through the healing process, the healing cycle that begins at 11 p.m. and ends at 2 a.m. Now, and you, you must be in REM sleep, which is your last stage of sleep, in order for that healing cycle to begin. Thus, this mask, because this mask, this, yeah, mask, uh, it will shut out any light that would dis disrupt that cycle, and you want to heal. You want to heal. That's a practice that we, that we need to get. Some of our diseases and some of our disorders that are in the body, and, and, I, and I would, uh, beg to suggest that most of them are caused by deregulation of the healing cycle because if you don't heal and you don't heal even though you're having day-to-day -day, uh, distress day-to-day -day, uh, injury to the DNA and to the rest of the cells of the body if you don't heal on a daily basis, if you miss that healing cycle on a daily basis, then it doesn't matter how you change your diet. It does not matter how many vitamins you eat. It doesn't matter how much water you drink. Healing will not take place. Some things are simple. Some things are simple. And our healing is on a day-night cycle. Light uh, keeps the body from going into that healing cycle because during the light, during, when, during the light hours, is when we should be doing other things. But but when night falls, our body should be getting ready to. We should be finishing up everything. That's why you don't eat after six p.m. That's why you do not eat after six p.m. Anything unless it is raw and that raw is not steamed raw is not heated raw is not popped in the microwave raw is as it was when it came out of the soil and so then if we follow these are these are principles that really come out of god's word and so if we follow these principles, then, um, then our bodies, they can thrive, they can live, they can be healthy. It uh, doesn't matter what age. So we, we call certain things aging um, disorders or diseasing, dis, dis diseases, <laughs> diseases, but they're really not what they are, they're uh, dysregulated and deregulated processes that they're processes that have been turned off in the body because we don't go to sleep so that the body can heal. And so then we want to, this is a part of that preparation period. You know, we have about a month before the fast now. And the reason that I started now talking about the, these things is because the, the less repair that the body has to do during the um, fasting, during the fasting uh, component of this prayer and fasting circuit, the uh, more healing we do the more reversal we do during the uh, preparation phase of the fast the faster our health will spring forth speedily during the fast because in actuality the body will have uh, less uh, repair to do and because it has less repair then you can re you can uh, receive more healing. So now let's talk about this water. I know you all thought I, f I forgot, didn't you? Hello, Miss Wiley. Thank you, thank you. 
Yeah, I'm working on that 10 o'clock too. <laughs> yes, yes, Brandy. Very harmful effects, even the TV. Anything other than raw foods after make that T and R, Brandy. Somebody will be on here saying, Ta. Oh, I'll look up on the internet what uh, what ta food is, and they may find it. <laughs> and so, uh, let's see, what did I see? He healing is um, the healing cycle is on a light and dark. Um, it's regulated by light and dark. It's regulated. So the healing cycle is regulated by day and night or a light and dark. Hey, Miss Perkins. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. And was that Lamarius? Lamarius Ellis? Hello. Thank you for joining us. I think this is my first time seeing you, so I'd like to welcome you. And I hope you are blessed today. Um, yes, very good, Brandy. Thank you. Hey, Melissa. Hey, girl. Glad you're here. Glad you're here with us. And you know what? There's something that I, uh, you all don't forget to like and share. There is something that I have, I've noticed that I have uh, forgotten to say the last few times. And I'm going to say this real quick so that I can, uh, because I'm going to go over into question and answer period. You all know we should be ending this portion at 1130 and then doing question and answers for 15 minutes. Um, the microwave. If you use the microwave, the mi microwave cooking destroys white blood cells. So when you eat from the microwave, you are setting yourself up to be attacked or, or um Effected, you all know I'm talking in code. <laughs> Effected by Thanos, because it is the white, it is the loss or the um, diminishing of the white blood cells that takes us through all of the cycles, that takes us through all of the steps of this infectious uh, disease, um, and actually causes the demise. And so then your white blood cells are very vital. They're very vital. And uh, as they are diminished and as they are destroyed, then you begin to lose the fight. You begin to lose the battle with this, um, with Thanos. So we don't want to eat microwave food. Not, we don't want it heated in the microwave. Um, I haven't had a microwave in my house probably for my children were still uh, teenagers the last time uh, there was a microwave in my house and they all are now about 50. They all are now circling somewhere around 50 and so you know that's been quite a while ago and so then you want to remove that microwave. You want to remove it uh, if you have that if you have that ability if you have that power if it belongs to somebody else now that's another story um, and so then sugar thank you I almost forgot that sugar listen leave that sugar alone unless it's unless it's a plant sugar leave it alone uh, not even one one teaspoon um, causes the immune system to be ineffective for up to 70 minutes. And so then if you put three teaspoons in, then you multiply that by 70 minutes and you'll find out how long um, you will be, how long you will be prey for Thanos. And so um, now water. If you have high blood pressure, you may have heard me say this before because it's not the first time I've talked about water. But these are things that I remember. These are things that we want to correct. We want to correct before the fast so that when we go on the fast, this will not be something that your energies will have to be put towards 
And so then when you don't drink enough water, um, if you correct that dehydration now, and then you go into the fast fully hydrated, then, then that is not something that your body will have to correct. That's not something that your body, one less thing that your body will have to deal with as your health is springing forth speedily. So now let's talk about that. I think I, said, I was starting to talk about high blood pressure. So I guess I'll start there. Uh, high blood pressure, we're on all of these medications and we're doing all of these um, extraordinary things. I remember I woke up one morning to screaming. I had a neighbor, she was at that end of the hall in our apartment building. And I was right in the middle across from the elevator. And so uh, I believe several times a week you would see her walking the hall. And she would be walking at a, it was pretty good pace at a pretty good pace and uh so she would walk she would walk for several minutes i really you know i didn't time her but she she spent some pretty good time out there in the hallway walking back and forth walking back and forth and uh carrying out exercise and i'm sure it was because her doctor had said that she needed to do so so i know forget i heard the screaming one morning and uh i got up and I ran out, I ran to the door, I ran out into the hallway and then so did my neighbor across the hall. And we both ran out and we ran down to the end of the hallway where we heard the screaming. And we went in and this, there was this daughter, this, um, she was an adult, she was a young adult. She was spinning, she was just spinning and she was um, screaming and she was yelling, mama, 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 wake up, mama, wake up, mama. Oh no, mom, her mother had passed. And um, I don't know if she had passed during the night or the morning or whatever she, she had, she had passed. Now this is the same uh, lady that was walking up and down the hall getting her exercise. And uh, I am almost certain most of the people in that building had diabetes and high blood pressure. And so um, the exercise is one of the things that's recommended. But now, and she was faithful. She was faithful with what she did. Now, I don't know what her diet was like, but I know she was faithful in uh, carrying out that exercise regimen. But she probably was not drinking water, I'm guessing. You know why? Because um, uh, exercise and all of those other things, they're wonderful, but they don't work if you don't drink water, not for high blood pressure. And so if you don't drink water, the blood will thicken. And as that blood thickens, then it will not move through that body as it should. It will put stress on that heart. And the stress on the heart will put stress on the kidneys. And they will, the doctors will continue to give you medication. They will start you out. Usually they start you out with about three different meds for high blood pressure. And then uh, they will progress you, they can progress you to as many as 20. And ask me how I know, because I have um, dealt with, you know, there have been many, many of my um, clients that have been on high blood pressure medication. And uh, the more, <laughs> the, the worse the high blood pressure gets, the less water they drink or they're being dehydrated because they're being given water pills and just a bunch of stuff. And none of it works because you end up on a, on more high blood pressure medication, more high blood pressure, high blood pressure medication because medication is not your problem. Your problem is you don't like water and you won't drink water. You will drink other things but you will not drink H2O. And so then the blood thickens and the blood thickens because the blood is not 80, 70, 80% Kool-Aid. It is not 70, 80% coffee. It is not uh, 70 to 80% uh, pop soda. Uh, it is 70 to 80% water, H2O. And if it is not H2O, it is not water and that blood thickens and the thicker it gets the harder the heart has to pump 
in order to try to get that blood to go through those uh, arteries and veins. And, and um, when that blood is being beaten through those arteries and veins, those arteries and veins, they become weak they become weak and they can deteriorate and they can bleed out all because we don't like water we won't drink water so let's fix that so then one of the uh, ways that you can tell if you're drinking enough water um, is the color of your urine if your urine is dark if it is uh, darker than golden golden yellow uh, if it is that light brown, then you're in, you're in, um, you've got to get on that. That is something you have to get on. You are severely dehydrated, severely dehydrated. Your lungs swim in water. And so then your, your, their, your organs, you are putting your organs under such severe stress and distress. And so then if your urine is a, dark yellow going into that brown then you need to get on that you are severely dehydrated and you need to fix that and you need to fix it by drinking 50 percent of your body weight in water ounces and so then and you can uh begin by drinking a glass of water before you go to bed a glass of water when you wake up in the morning um uh, and the wonderfulness of that is that if you squeeze a lemon in it, you'll knock out two birds with one stone because you should in the morning, unless you eat a lot of meat and a, with a lot of starch, you should also have a bowel elimination for um, those in this category that may have suffered from a chronic constipation. You don't even know what that is because you don't because the doctor says oh everybody's everyone's body is different and whereas they may go three times a day you may go only three times a week well that's foolishness you don't wait and eat three times a week from every meal and everything that you put in your body where is that waste going where's it going and so and that and because of what we eat we end up with a lot of toxic chemicals in our bodies and those toxic chemicals they need to be flushed out and and it would be wonderful if they could be flushed out before the fast because that will be one less thing that will have to take place during uh during that remodeling and repairing and rebuilding process that autophagy that process of uh, autophagy remodeling and so then um, so how much water do you drink? You drink 50% of your body weight in water ounces. So if you weigh 100 pounds, you drink 50 ounces of water. That's just simple. If you weigh um, 300 pounds, you drink 150, which is just a little bit over a gallon of water. Now, I did have a gentleman that I was working with. He was 702 pounds. And you better believe I had him drink that 350 ounces of water every day. 350 ounces of water. And because um, he did what he, what he had to do, what was necessary, he lost 200 pounds in six weeks. So he went from 700 pounds to 500 pounds. And his doctor stated that they had not ex uh, expected him to live out the summer. Now, they hadn't told him this. And because I, I went, you know, and had a conversation with his doctors, told him that, that I was not there to create any problem for them, that, the, that I was there um, just to be, you know, to come alongside of them and just do at home what it is that they needed him to do and whatever. So they felt really comfortable with um, letting me know that they had had a conversation stating that he would not live out the summer, but that at this particular point, he was the healthiest that they had ever seen him. And that was from drinking water and eating that rainbow salad. 
<laughs> which of course we will get to. We will get to that rainbow salad, not today. We'll get to that rainbow salad and what every component in that rainbow salad does in the body. And so then those that have those migraine headaches, so those those tincture, tension headaches, uh, when you don't drink enough water, when you are dehydrated, the brain shrinks. The brain, it shrinks. And it pulls away from the uh, that structure that holds and should be a protective shield for the brain. But because the brain is shrinking, then it is not only just shrinking, but it is also pulling away from the skull and causing pain. And so then as those brain cells, as they uh, shrink and pull away from the skull, then you could imagine that you're going to have memory loss. That you're going to have memory loss because your uh, brain cells are being damaged, they're being damaged, and they're being lost. And so, and that is because of lack of water, dehydration, and so, or uh, deregulation caused by dehydration. Now think about how many, how many seniors that we have um, that are suffering from dementia and Alzheimer's. Now I will tell you this. When I was a young person coming up right out there in Robbins, Illinois, we never knew there was a such thing as dementia or Alzheimer's or any such thing because our seniors, they kept their mental acuity and they took it with them to the grave. Yep, they took it with them to the grave. And we are now having dementia uh, our uh, young young people in their 30s and their 40s are not suffering from dementia and suffering from uh, Alzheimer's. We'll talk about that later. We'll, we'll talk about that later because there are some other things that are that are causing. Hello, Miss Perkins. How are you? Yes, yes. I don't know what you're saying. Oh no, to but the answer is oh yes, it's true. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Am I missing anyone else here? Nope. I think I have everyone. Uh, please don't forget to like and share. And so then that deregulation or dysregulation in the body caused by uh, dehydration from not drinking enough water. We want to fix that before we go on the fast. Because uh, anyone that has fasted, you know, fasting has been a part of some of our lives for many, many years. And so we think that uh, we think that headaches are just a normal process uh, in fasting. That if you if you really fast, because you know we're talking about fasting day and night. We're talking about a complete water fast. We're talking about that that causes your health to spring forth speedily. And so then those that are, those of us that are accustomed to a complete water fast, uh, we have for 21 years, I think Dr. Hunt was just talking about it. We went on 21 and 20, it might've been 20 years that we went on a 21 day and night fast, water fast, shutting in in the church uh, for 20 years. And so you talking about headaches, <laughs> you talking about headaches, uh, being sick, being weak, being nauseous and passing out in, um, passing out in public and in secret. <laughs> we went through the gamut and all because we did not properly prepare ourselves for the fast. Now, fasting is hard. It is, it is difficult, especially when you're talking about a total water fast. But, but the things that we have gone through, they were not necessary, and they only occurred because we didn't prepare ourselves properly. And it is the proper preparation that causes your health to spring forth speedily. 
It is the proper preparation. It is giving the body what it needs to do what it needs to do to carry out that autophagy, which is a remodeling, a rebuilding, and a repairing of all cells, cells, tissues, organs, hormones, so forth and so on. And so then, when we don't drink water, we don't like water, then we're creating a problem with our kidneys. Uh, we're creating a problem with our liver. We, uh, when we drink enough water, it helps with elimination, bowel elimination, but it also helps with weight loss. It also helps with weight loss. And so then it, the lungs, um, some of us have, we have a lot of problems with inflammation. We have a lot of problems with our children, have problems with a asthma. We have problems with these sinus headaches and all of these things going on in the body. And most of it is because we don't drink enough water and we don't like water and we substitute. Now, a, 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 a way that you can increase your water is by eating water, high water content foods. And so then uh, those are those, uh, of course, they're raw fruits and vegetables. And you know those that have, um, that have high water content because when you bite into them, then the water runs out like watermelons, cantaloupes, um, uh, all of the melons, then you have your um, mangoes, and you have uh, like your celeries. You have um, you have all of those, and this is dried beans. They have no water content. You have to put water in those. So then, uh, actually, what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll put a list of um, high water content. Uh, fruits and vegetables in the comment section because I have one more minute and let me see let me see let me see let me see what is that last oops uh, where am I where am I okay so then I don't know if you all saw that bleep or not <laughs> But I'm trying, trying, trying to uh, get you as much information as I can. And let me see. I told you about the high blood pressure, body temperature. Some of us have fevers. We have uh, internal fevers and we don't even realize it because we're so accustomed to be, uh, that temperature. We're accustomed to being... Um, we're accustomed to being at that temperature above where we should be, but we're not drinking enough water. And so then the temperature of our body is not being properly regulated. And sometimes um, our pulse is raising, uh, racing, our pulse is racing. I don't know what's going on with my word pronunciation today. Our pulse is race, racing. We have dizziness. We have no idea why we are dizzy. Um, we have no idea why we have these um, light headaches. We just wake up with this light headache and it follows us throughout the day and we can't shake it. Um, we have severe weariness, tiredness. Um, and then we go to the exercise. Then we go to the... Uh, exercise place <laughs> what you all know what I'm talking about we go there and we exercise our brains out and we're we're already dehydrated we're already fatigued and then we go and exercise and do all of these uh, crazy exercises which makes us even more dehydrated and because we are sweating and we're uh, becoming exhausted uh, chemical imbalances it causes chemical imbalances in the body. And so we've already talked about constipation. We have uh, digestive problems, um, stomach ulcers, some of those things. They're, yes, they are caused by, um, some is called by, by bacteria. 
overgrowth in the body, but why is there bacterial overgrowth in that in that stomach? It is because you're not drinking enough water to flush and wash out, and there's a particular uh, bacteria that causes that uh, that ulcer, those ulcers, and uh, and you need it's very simple to get rid of. Cabbage will just totally annihilate that um, that bacteria, but you got to drink water to flush out to flush out the tox toxins. Because anytime something dies in the body, it leaves toxins behind. And so then if we're not drinking water, those toxins from the death of those entities. So now most of us have had uh, Thanos. Most of us have been stricken with Thanos once, twice, sometimes more. And so then, uh, and then we've uh, recovered. But what happened to those toxins and those poisons from from all of the medications, from all of from the dying entities? What happened to those things when we didn't drink enough water? Joint pain. Some of us are on. We're taking so many darn over the counter medications, and let me tell you, over the counter medications we put them in our purse like like we popping candy. Those over-the-counter medications, I am old enough to remember the day that you had to have a prescription. The government required that you had a prescription to buy uh, Tylenol and all of these uh, acetaminophens and all of these medications because they are not benign. But then someone came in power that deregulated the industry. And so then we can go to the drugstore and get these meds and pop them in at any time we want to. And so if sometimes the only thing that's necessary and the only problem that you have is that you're not drinking enough water. And remember, enough water is 50% of your body weight and water ounces. Um... And so I, I hope uh, I talked about this enough. I hope I talked about this enough in order to um, at least cause you to think about, think about. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Lemarius. I hope that Ellis, Ellis, um, I'm not used to that name, so I don't know if it's male or female, but thank you, thank you. I'm glad it was helpful. And thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. You know we have gone way over, or we've gone over, because the questions, I'm looking to see if there are any questions, and I'm so glad that I don't see any, and that is because I've used up all of your question and answer. <laughs> <laughs> I've used up all of your question and answer period so um, and I'm five minutes over so listen I love you all bless you all have a wonderful wonderful weekend don't forget to go to church and I tell you like I tell a, the friend of mine well I was there for the music and I was there for the singing and isn't, isn't that the same thing? Because it's all, it's all the word. And I said, no, it's not the same thing. Because the prayer, the praise, the worship, that's what we offer up to God. The word is what he gives back to us. And so let's put it together. Let's honor him one day of the week. Let's give him his due. God bless you. I love you. And I'll see you again on Monday. And remember now, Mondays and Fridays. Uh, be here with me. Join me. And I hope you'll be blessed. I am pushing that red button.